St. Alphonsus, great doctor of the church and founder of our Redemptorist congregation, tells us that prayer is the great means of salvation. He was convinced that without prayer, one cannot find themselves in true and lasting relationship with God. There are many modes of prayer, but in the end, St. Alphonsus would want us to understand that prayer is really conversation with a friend. Conversation with a friend. And that friend, he tells us, is of course God in Jesus Christ. We all know what formal prayer is. For instance, the Holy Mass, the Rosary, the Novena, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the like. All of these, all of these are foundational and indeed indispensable in our spiritual lives. But there is also a form of prayer that St. Alphonsus calls mental prayer. Now what is mental prayer? It is your voice with your words in the silence of your heart, in the presence of your God, your Creator, your Redeemer. It is your conversation with God and your willingness to hear the voice of God in response. It is a silent, internal conversation. I speak within, and God speaks. In the silence, God speaks, and I listen. And from my heart, I respond, and God responds, always within the silence of the mind and the heart. I sit in silence, and I listen. For what? for the voice of God. But what if I do not hear anything, you might ask? This makes no difference. In the stillness, in the silence, realize that you are on holy ground, for you have placed yourself in the presence of the transcendent God. It's quite natural that we would not always or easily comprehend God's voice or feel the intimate, loving touch of Christ. Yet, in faith, in faith we believe and we allow the silence to be the voice of God. And in the silence, we allow ourselves to rest in the embrace of Christ. Our world, our world today is so often 
a very noisy, chaotic place to be. It's often difficult to find a quiet place to pray. So perhaps the question is not, where can I find a quiet place to pray? But rather, do I possess a quietness within myself? Amid all the activity and the hectic pace that often is so present in this world, can I still understand myself as a person made in the peaceful and serene image of God? And from this place of personal, personal interior silence, can I lift my heart and my soul unto God in quiet and loving meditation, in peaceful contemplation? Can I do this <clears throat> even amid the noise and the hectic pace of this world? Our mother, more than any other, teaches us how to pray. How often in the scriptures, in the gospels, did we read, Mary pondered all these things in her heart. Her interior self was a place of sublime peace for it was the dwelling place of God from the very beginning of her life. And we hear this in her beautiful Magnificat when she reveals to us the radiance of her interior self. My soul, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, she says. My spirit, my internal spirit, rejoices in God, my Savior. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Mary teaches us that prayer is an expression of our relationship with God. We place ourselves before God as we are in this life, and we acknowledge God's presence within us. We listen. We listen with intention for the voice of God, and God listens for our voice because prayer is a conversation with a friend, with the one who desires our love more than any other. Mary teaches us to pray with humility and with sincerity of heart each and every time we enter into prayer. She asks us to pray with great devotion whenever we take the rosary into our hands. Always remembering that when we do, we are holding Mary's hand and she is holding ours. She wants her children to attend the Holy Mass with the greatest devotion, realizing that we all are seated at the table of the Last Supper with her son. And we all stand with her at the foot of the cross on Calvary at every Mass. At the Mass, we stand with all the angels and the saints in heaven as we continually cry out, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. She wants us to pray her novena with sincere and loving devotion and, and any other formal prayers that the church offers to us. 
but she asks us also to pray from a very personal place, to pray from within the silence of our hearts, to pray from the truthfulness of our interior self. She asks us to be children of an inner silence. Why? So that we might hear the voice of God speaking to us personally, intimately, lovingly. Mary, our mother, asks us to sit in the silence and ponder with her the enormity of God's love for all God's children. She asks us all to be children of mature and sincere prayer that we might be in this life all that we were created to be. She teaches us to pray that we might enter into deep, personal, intimate, and loving relationship with God, with her Son, Jesus. Mother, Mother of perpetual help, teach us how to pray.